Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today we will start the step-by-step -step workshop to set up an attendance management app. Have you downloaded the Google Sheet template that was shared in the last video? We suggest you may download it first, then come back to this video. Cause today we will go through the data setting first. In this app, we have three tables. Let's start with the attendance table. Set the date column as shown. Set the type column as shown. Set the attendee ID column as shown. Set the photo and column as shown. Set the photo out column as shown. Set the date time and column as shown. Set the date time out column as shown. Set the GPS in column as shown. Set the GPS out column as shown. Next, the computed key is our master key for the table. This column is auto-generated by AppSheet, when we set the date and attendee ID as the key. The computed key is auto-generated upon we save the project. Alright, let's proceed to the next virtual column. Set the attendee photo virtual column as shown. Set the clock in virtual column as shown. Set the clock out virtual column as shown. Set the clocking location validity virtual column as shown. All right, attendance table is ready. Let's proceed to the attendee table. Set the ID column as shown. Set the name column as shown. Set the photo column as shown.
Set the contact number. Column as shown. Set the address. Column as shown. Set the email column as shown. Set the attendance log virtual column as shown. Alright, the attendee table is ready. Let's proceed to the location table. Set the code column as shown. Set the name column as shown. Set the photo column as shown. Set the GPS column as shown. Set the distance tolerance column as shown. The last two virtual columns are auto-generated by Upsheet. Upon we save the project. Alright, data is ready, let's proceed to the clock in form. Set the clock in form as shown. The data is sourced from a slice. Let's check the slice setting. Set the slice as shown. Alright, let's back to the form view. Continue set the clock in form as shown. Alright, we have complete our workshop today. In next video, we will continue with the dashboard setting. Alright, we end here today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.